All right, I'm gonna do number 12 quick. Hopefully it's not too jiggly. I'm trying to hold the phone and do this again. Okay, so it says that you have a, an elevator and um, there's someone standing on a scale in the elevator. So if I were to draw a picture of this, here's your elevator box. There's the cable. Um, and then there is a little scale inside and there's a person standing on it, right? Um, and the information it asks you is what is the acceleration of the elevator? Well, the person and the scale and the elevator are all moving together. So the acceleration of the, the elevator is also the person and the scale. And because of the text of the problem gives us information about the person, that's what our dot is going to represent in our free body diagram is going to be that person. Now, the information that it gives us is it says that the scale reads um, 0.75 of the weight for an instant, okay? Well, I guess we'll say of the weight. For the instant, it starts to accelerate. So we have to understand what those terms mean. What a scale reads is your normal force. What your weight is, is Fg, which is Mg. So when it says that the scale reads 0.75 of your weight for an instant, that means that normal force is going to be equal to 0.75 of your Fg, all right? And that'll come into play here in a second. Now, it says that um, the first thing it asks you before to even calculate acceleration is like use your common sense and figure out whether or not you're moving up or down, accelerating upwards or downwards. So um, if you actually are weighing less, right, the scale is saying that you weigh less, that means like the scale is falling out from under your feet. You're not pushing into it quite so hard. If it was going upwards, it would be pushing up on your feet and it's like the scale would actually read more. So um, the uh, intuitively, you know, hopefully you can kind of guess that this thing is going downwards, right? It's accelerating downwards. And that should match with the math of our problem that we're gonna do here in a second. All right, so let's actually walk ourselves through the steps of how to do these Newton's Laws problems. So remember, the first thing you draw is a free body diagram. And because we're dealing with the person and we have information about the person, their weight, what the scale is saying, uh, that's the free body diagram that we're going to draw. And then that's the acceleration of the elevator. So if we look at the person, uh, we always have weight, right? You always have the force due to gravity. And then the only other thing that the person is touching is the ground or the scale. So we're going to have normal force. There's no tension. There's no string. The string is attached to the elevator, not to the person. So this is the free body diagram that we have. Now, once we have a free body diagram, we ask ourselves, is the person accelerating? Well, yes, they are accelerating. So we're going to take Fn and we're going to subtract Fg and set that equal to Ma. Okay, and now it's just a, a, a series of steps to uh, substitute in the values that we know. So I know that the normal force is 0.75 Fg. Okay, so I'm going to sub that in. And then where you see Fg, you can put Mg. Now remember, this is F subscript G, which is just telling us that that force is a gravitational force. But we're going to substitute in how we know how to calculate that, which is mass times acceleration due to gravity. So wherever you see Fgs, you can put Mgs instead. And when you do that, now you can see that you have all of the, there's an M in every term. So the mass is actually going to cancel. Right? And then we just substitute in our value that we know for gravity. And remember, we're going to put that gravity is 10. We're not going to use negative 10 because we let this, the fact that we subtract them, tell us the direction. Right? So I got 0.75 times 10 minus 10 equals A. So when I solve this, you get 7.5 minus 10 equals A. So the acceleration is negative. 2.5 meters per second squared. Now, I said the math was going to help us sort of re-solidify this fact that this is down. So when I wrote my uh, sum of all forces equation here, right, or my net force equation, I said Fn minus Fg. So that gives Fn a positive direction and it gives Fg a negative direction. So my vector quantities are going to follow when I calculate acceleration. I get a negative value, so that means the net acceleration is in the negative direction, uh, which would be downwards. All right, I'll come back and make a second video for number 13.